Do you know what the second loudest sound is on a range? It's the sound of that click when your firearm doesn't go off. Hello everybody, I'm Mark Thomas from the National Shooting Sports Foundation and today we're at the world famous gun site training academy and range in Arizona and with me is certified instructor Bob Whaley. And Bob, if you've been around firearms you know that is probably the worst sound that you can have is when you're fully loaded, you think you're in good shape and you click and there's nothing there. But the main thing really is to follow a good procedure and right. keep your head, isn't it? Right. You know, the one thing we can depend on with a firearm, which is just another mechanical device, is that at some point it's going to fail. We're going to have malfunctions with this gun. What we're talking about today is a type one or fail to fire malfunction. It can be caused by a number of things. Failing to seat your magazine properly in the bolt, goes across the top of the rounds without seating the rounds. It can be caused by a bad round that uh, for whatever reason doesn't go bang when, when the hammer strikes that firing pin. But there's a specific way that we can reduce this and it's actually very quick. What we have, a type one malfunction clearance is our immediate action drill. We're starting with an unloaded firearm to set this up. What we're gonna do is we're gonna lower our bolt and we're gonna insert a live magazine with a nice push and pull. We push to seat the magazine and pull to ensure that it has seated. We're going to point into our berm here. What we get is a click when we expect a bang. What we're going to do now is reach up. We're going to push and pull to ensure that magazine is seated. We're going to roll the gun outboard just a little bit, grab that charging handle nice and firm, and we're going to run it forcefully. Now we're back up on target doing whatever it is we need to do. Very simple. Push, pull, roll, and rack. And one of the worst things that you can do is really try to ram that uh, magazine up there, isn't it? Exactly. Let me clear this weapon and make a condition for unload it. And you'll notice while we're here that we have our eyes and ears on to make sure we have protection because we have a live firearm and we're down range. We visually and physically ensure that we have an unloaded firearm. And what you're talking about, if we muscle up and we start beating these magazines into position, especially if we have an open bolt, what we can do is mm. you can pop that round out and if that's going into a weapon with the bolt locked to the rear, you can volcano some rounds up in there and create even worse malfunctions and problems for yourself. And you saw how easy. That wasn't a very forceful hit to knock that bullet out of the magazine. Right, and I guarantee you this is a good magazine. So remember, push, pull, rack, roll, and make sure you're in good shape. You want to know more about firearm safety? Log on to our website at nssf.org. And remember, safety depends on you.